Hello and welcome back to the Man Cave. I'm the UP Gamer and today we're going to play some more Calibri Crystal Guardians. And I know it's been a while since I posted, uh, about a week. I did have some computer issues and I tried to make a video this week. Uh, I did 60 summons and on my first 10 pull, I got another uh, Mountain King. And I went through the rest of the summons. Didn't get anything else for five stars, didn't get anything new, so then I did a convert. And I thought I was recording all this, and then at the end it said there was a buffer issue. So that sucked. But at the end, I got this leather-clad beauty when I converted. So I finally got the succubus. That's awesome, it doesn't help me complete my archives. But I have been wanting her for a long time, so I'm very happy to have her now. I do have her six-starred, I'm working on leveling her up. She isn't quite there yet, uh, but we'll get her there, eventually. My archive's still looking the same, um, and at the end of the video we are going to do some more summons. You can see my archive rewards, I still need one more uh, Destruction Idol for Ashura, and then Elven Queen and Selene to get Eve. Um, the other thing we're going to do on this video is just do kind of an account review. Um, there was an update this morning, changed the, uh, the layout a little bit, added some stuff. Uh, one thing it added was if you go over to Thanatos and you go to unlock, Yuki is now available. You need to get a hundred Yuki summoning stones then you can unlock her. You can add stuff to her. She can absorb other hero skills and she is only good for PvE, no PvP. So what that means is once you have her, I'm assuming, say you feed her a swordsman a holy swordsman. She'll take on some of their abilities and it will determine her faction by like the highest star that was used. Um, or the Yuki will first assume the faction of the hero with the highest star ranking that he absorbed. So if we do a uh, four star holy swordsman and then two three stars, uh, Yuki will be lawful. Um, and you, you're gonna get skills from that. I'm not sure if you're gonna get to pick the skills or exactly how it's going to work. So I already did my battles for today, so I got eight eight of uh, the Yuki tokens here. Um, I have been working on my Thanatos. You can see I am actually ranked right now. 58th, which is not great, but it is improving. Um, right after I did my, my fights with Thanatos, I was 39. But you can see right now I am 58. And probably going down. Um, they also added in the flag so you can show which country you're from, which is kind of cool. Um, where did I change that? I changed it somewhere, but I don't remember where it was. Was it here? Yeah, there it is. No, banner settings. There we go. So there's that. That is something else they added new. Now yesterday, they did have the, the pirate ship here. There's going to be some kind of thing that's like pirate island or pirate treasure. Uh, but it disappeared. I don't know if I don't have it unlocked or if they just patched it in and then they patched it out. Um, but that's, that's where that is. What I've been doing lately, um, I was working on a team for... The Hydra that I thought was going to work, it did not at all. But I'll show you the team that I was thinking of using, and it's because they had multi hits, but it did not work at all. So we had Una leading, and then we had two monks. And where's the Elven Queen? Her, and then... We had the Cleric for the Healing. So my thought was, with Una leading, you get 25% hit points. If you look at the Monk's first ability, attack twice, and then attack everyone, so attack three times. Second ability, attack seven times between all enemies. So that's all multi-hits. This monk, same thing. 
Um, he's doing a passive reduced damage taken by allies. Still attack, all the attacks matter. And then the Elven Queen, attack three times. And then attack three times. And then she increases her own attack and then stacks up to five times. I have that all the way leveled up so it'll actually stack up to ten times so she can get 200% of her attack. And then the Cleric, have her just on double heals and her main attack is three attacks. So everybody is all multi-attacks except Una on this one. Um, this one is also um, multi-attack. So I tried this. I put I put good runes on them. Didn't work at all. So I'm still working on a Hydra team, guys. Um, I was trying to build a uh, four four star below. You know, basically everyone would be able to do this, but this team does not work. If you have any comments or you know suggestions for this, I would love them. Put them down below. Also, um, account reviews. If you guys want me to do a review on your account, uh, my email is down below in the description. Go ahead, shoot me an email. Uh, get in touch. We'll figure something out, and I can do a re an account review for you. Or if you want help with runes or whatever, just uh, yeah, shoot me an email, and I'd be happy to help. Uh, what else have we been doing? Oh, I wanted to show you my layer team, and I'm been farming the layer a ton. So this is my team. That's how they're set up. We got the leader of. Uh, the swordsman here. I'll do a quick run. It usually only takes eh, 30 45 seconds, so it's not a huge long run here. Buff, buff, buff. And I'll show you all the runes and abilities after. And you can see the swordsman hammer home. And you guys know how this works. You know, I just wanted to show you mine, see how, show you how fast it is. It's not super speed yet, but I am working on it. I one of my swordsmen still pretty. I mean, he's okay, but he could use some more um, runes and grinds that are better. That would help out. Make sure we have the damage output we really need. And this should be an easy clear. Uh, it's probably about 95, 97 percent consistent so that's a good thing and there you go so that's my layer team and I've just been grinding away on runes and quartz uh, what else uh, as far as otherworldly trials vapor dreamland I'm on 90 hard right now I already completed common And Spire, I haven't really worked on the Spire hardly at all. I cleared floor 80, that's it. Um, I will get to that. I know a bunch of people want to have some videos on that. But I haven't got to it. Infernal Legion, you guys all know that. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Just go in and wail on the team. This is my Colossus team now. Um, a KO for, for the speed lead. And then we just burn. And this team's very effective. When you get to the boss, Mikhail lands his, he's got the skill cooldowns um, for our allies. And then this, uh, disable the target's passive for two turns. So he puts that on the boss and then the boss can't hit us with its big nuke. And we win. That's pretty straightforward. Oh, I forgot to show you my runes and my team for lair. I will do that real quick and then we'll do some summons. Come on. So that is my rock golem. Hit points, hit points, hit points. Jungle heart. Speed. Hit points. Defense. Una is on speed. Hit points. In defense. <laughs> At level one. But she gets the job done. And my druid, um, this skill, energy range, so the, he doesn't heal at all. We basically just throw up the damage, and you can see his speed. He's pretty fast, about one, uh, 219, so he goes twice before the dragon goes. Here's my swordsman. They're all on attack, crit damage attack. There's his stats. 
that one and they're yeah all of them are on the same skills and everything that one and this is the one that's a little bit weaker that I'm still working on no no that's not him is it him and this one this one I need to get some more stuff on so that is that all right we are gonna do some summons and I just got the uh, server maintenance summons this morning they gave me us a legendary and some runes so you can see I have uh, two legendaries a light dark and 47 mystics so we're gonna do some single pulls and we'll skip if they're blue and then we'll do 10 pulls and we are looking for certainly anything to fill up my archive so destruction idol elven queen and selene are the ones I'm really wanting I guess it's Shadow Wolf Day. Elven Archer. Mine is all is skilled, but not all the way skilled up, so I'm still gonna look at that team because they're all multi-attack. I kinda like it, but it did not work at all. I just got owned. Fire Fox, two more, and then we'll do some ten pulls, boys. Flame Mantis. Got gold. And a vampire. Alright, some ten pulls here. Give us the gold. Give me an Elven Queen. Give me a Selene. Destruction Idol. Come on. Shield Guardian. And food. Three more ten pulls. Yeah, I'm not really expecting anything. We got another gold. And a pharaoh. 20 more. Well, we got a good. Oh, there we go. Five star genie. Awesome. That's something new. It's not uh, reward completing, but sweet. <laughs> well, that was unexpected, but I like it. I'll take it for sure. Yeah, I will have to look into his abilities because I haven't really. But I like it. And we still got two uh, legendaries, so. And a couple more ten pulls. <coughs> so, good summoning session, obviously. Another gold. Demonic Swordsman. I think I still need some skill ups for mine, so I will definitely take that. More skill ups for the monk. Alright. Uh, we're going to do these legendaries first. You know, I always like to end with the light and dark, so. And the light and darks just from uh, that event that just came out to treasure hunt or that was just finishing up so here we go legendary still like a destruction idol fortune and one more it's gold and an angel of death all right boys light and dark to finish her off give me gold please nope and an Alice so that is gonna be it for this one guys thanks for stopping by the man cave please remember to like and sub again if you have any questions put them in the comments if you want me to do an account review or help you out with runes help you out with building teams um, I'd be happy to help just go ahead and shoot me an email my email is in the description so that will be it for this one I will catch you guys in the next video